Maraming uri ng mga illegal na pinutol na kahoy ang nasa bata mga otoridad sa lalawigan na lalawigan. Apoy may bumabagsak na lava mula sa mga banahaw pasado ala sa iska gabi. Yun pala'y nilalamon na ng apoy ang paligid ng crater. Kahapon, tanaw pa rin ang makapal na usok mula sa sulfur vents malapit sa tuktok ng Mount Apo. Nilalaman ang pagbaha sa pagkakaingin sa kabundukan kaya hindi na rito napigil ang... This is not a landfill. This is the ocean. Malaking problema sa Metro Manila ang mga basura sa mga sapa, ilog, pati na sa Manila Bay. Pero sa aming paglalayag papunta sa Isla Pulo sa Nabotas, ito ang tumambad sa amin. Mga inanod na basura mula sa iba't ibang kalapit na problema. Ayon sa pag-aaral ng Greenpeace, pinakamalaking pinagbumula ng pollution sa mga ilog ang mga duming nang gagaling sa mga bahay. Sunod na riyan ang mga duming galing sa pagsasaka, pag-aalaga ng hayop at iba pang industriya. There is one of the basic necessities we human beings cannot without how do we ensure that we breathe clean air every day the haze that cover parts of metro manila but it looks different in the morning when the haze is thicker and darker metro manila counts almost 8 million vehicles and growing contributing to a staggering 80 percent of the total cost of air pollution seeing matter changes can be fun and helpful that is why we produce more new and better products but what do you think will happen when people keep on producing more materials watch and learn to find out more Our fun and learning vlog will have a new setup just like this. <laughs> now we are also leveling up and changing. Now going back, in this episode, we invited a very beautiful science enthusiast who will accompany us in our lesson on the effects of changes in materials. Let's contact her now. Hello, Teacher Mela. Hello, Teacher Danny. I'm very glad to be part of your fun and learning vlog. Welcome to all the kids and all the parents who are watching out there. A wonderful day to all of you. So, hello, Teacher Mela. Now, since you are my co-host today, what can you say to our viewers? By the way, kids, I am Carmela Velasco, but you can call me Teacher Mela. I hope that I could share my knowledge to all the children who are watching right now. So just relax and enjoy our today's episode. So what keeps you busy today, teacher? Well, I'm very busy. We are busy preparing the modules for the incoming opening of classes. But if you notice, there's a lot that our country is going through today. Uh, we see a lot of pollution, um, the pandemic is just affecting everything around us. Medical waste, air pollution, um, toxic materials that goes to the seas, the oceans, and also the rivers. So it's, it's, it's really serious. It's a serious problem that we have, not only in our country, but all over the world. I also saw and read many articles on waste pollution and other environmental problems which occurs because of too much production. Well, I completely agree to that, Teacher Nanny. Those are just some of the effects of changes in materials on the immediate environment and all the living organisms. With the creation of new products, which can improve the living condition of people, major problems arise. As the industry produces more products like masks that we are using, even face shields, if these are not properly disposed, this would be an additional environmental burden and a great problem to solve. And that is saddening for our planet. What might happen to Earth if that continues to happen? As modern facilities, factories, and products are made through industrialization, and scientific modernization, 
the planet Earth becomes more and more polluted. As we all know, pollution can change the environment as well as all the living organisms. Pollution can kill us people, even plants and animals. The things that causes pollution are what we call pollutants. So let's talk more about pollution because our viewers might not know that in every sphere of the earth there might be pollution affecting us like in the lithosphere or the land part where we grow plant and farm for food production this soil may be polluted right teacher Mela? Soil pollutants come from chemicals used on farms to kill insects and pests and also from the chemicals that are used by farmers to put on the ground to help crops grow. If the lithosphere can be polluted, how about the hydrosphere and the atmosphere? When these chemicals are washed by rain, these chemicals will affect the rivers that can kill a large number of fishes, birds who eat fish, and other animals. This is called water pollution. Anything that causes harm to water species may be in the form of sewage from the factories, oil spills from ships, tankers, and pipelines. These are dangerous if stored for a long period of time. Air pollutants, either gas or particulates, which include soot, smoke, and ash from coal combustion, dust released during industrial processes, and other solids from burning vegetation are all harmful. Do you think that pollution is the only effect of change in matter? Well, as I've said earlier, all the things that we do have effects on our environment. When we keep on charging our cell phones, for example, we keep on using fuels or energy fuels. intro i think uh, there would be more problem right teacher aside from global warming the chemicals in the atmosphere may cause acidifying of rain clouds which brings acid rain now to know more about acid rain i want you to watch this video the major sources of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide that we find in the atmosphere come from the following burning of fossil fuels to generate electricity with emissions from vehicles and heavy equipment and manufacturing, oil refineries, and other industries. Once these gases are in the air, the wind can blow them great distances, making acid rain a problem for everyone, and not just those who live close to these sources. The acidity of the rain is measured by using the traditional pH scale, where 7.0 is neutral, above 7 is alkaline, and below 7 is considered acidic. Normal rain has a pH of about 5.6, so it is naturally slightly acidic, which is due to the carbon dioxide that's dissolved in it. But acid rain has a pH between 4.2 and 4.4, so it's much further down the scale. When the pollutants that cause acid rain are in the air, they can be harmful to humans. And in areas where dry deposition occurs, there's a high likelihood that these gases can be breathed in. Ecological effects of acid rain are most clearly seen in aquatic environments, such as rivers, streams, and lakes, where the lower pH water can be harmful to fish and other wildlife. At pH 5, most fish eggs cannot hatch, and at lower pH levels, some adult fish die. In extreme cases, acidic lakes have no fish life at all. And even if a species of fish or animal can tolerate the acidic water, the animals or plants it eats might not be able to. Acid rain can also affect plants and trees. Dead or dying trees are a common sight in areas affected by acid rain. Dry deposition of acidic particles can also have a corrosive effect on the buildings, cars, and homes that they end up on. The acidic deposits can damage metals, such as bronze, which many statues are made of, as well as deteriorate paintwork and stone, such as marble and limestone. These effects can reduce the value of buildings, bridges, cultural objects, such as statues, monuments, and tombstones, as well as cause damage to our homes and vehicles. But how about the plastic bottles we are using? Where will they go after throwing them in the garbage? Would you like to live in a mountain full of non-biodegradable and toxic waste? 
What should you do? So what should we do? We need to change the way we live so we can stop releasing so much greenhouse gases. That way, the Earth's back will go back to normal. Those are good points of reflection, teacher. And I hope our viewers could see the good side and the bad sides of the changes in matter. So kids, let's not forget that all the, the things that we do have effects. And every time we change matter, we change its effects to our lives. Thank you again, Teacher Danny, for giving me this opportunity to share very useful information to these children. It's really a fun learning adventure. And again, kids, let's not forget to always take care of the environment for you, for us, and for the next generations to come. Again, this is Teacher Mella saying goodbye to you. The best you all. That is definitely true. You have to practice and maintain a helpful environment to protect our planet Earth from further destruction due to global warming, acid rain, and depletion of ozone layers. So thank you very much, Teacher Mela, for sharing your precious time with us. Now that's a wrap, guys. Thank you very much for another fun and learning adventure with us. And it's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye.